What's up, you two? Simply on a luckier. And today, they are finally here. One of the, no, the most godly product Konami has ever made. It is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Egyptian God Deck, Slifer, the Sky Dragon, and Obelisk, the Tormentor. You guys, I have been waiting for these. We've been talking about these. We've been looking forward to these godly products, you guys, and they are finally here. And man, are they hot. Hot, hot, you guys. Absolutely insane. A couple things before we get into the video, guys. Shout out to the Whatnot stream, you guys. Daily box opening, breaking streams on Whatnot. It's been insane, you guys. The link will be at the top of the description below. Maybe there'll be a QR code in this, you guys. But absolutely insane. And speaking of Whatnot, Saturday, 4 p.m. PST, you guys. That is June 19th, all right? 4 p.m. PST, Magic Ruler. First edition box opening. Yes, we did a Pharaoh's Servant first edition box opening of the day. It was absolutely freaking godly. It was awesome, you guys. So this Saturday, once again, be there on Whatnot for the live stream. Just follow us. And again, there'll be a link at the top of the description below. And speaking of links, you guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And speaking of thumbs up, those who give this video a thumbs up and post in the comments below, which is their favorite god deck, Slifer or Obelisk? I would like to know why, but you don't have to. Let us know. Slifer, Team Slifer, Team Obelisk. Let us know in the comments below. We got four giveaway winners today. Four giveaway winners today. Two God decks for Obelisk and two God decks for Slifer, you guys. It's going to be epic. It's going to be awesome. All right, you guys. Let's get into these decks. If you guys can, check out the link, simplyunlucky.com. We do have these Egyptian God decks, and they are selling out fast. Freaking hotcakes. All right. First, let's pop open the... Egyptian God Deck Obelisk the Tormentor. Look at this freaking deck. It is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Unbelievable, Konami. You have done well. You have done well. Now, there's some complaints about these decks as, as they are not meta relevant enough or whatnot. But man, as a nostalgic deck, this is incredible. Obelisk the Tormentor. Arise and wreck your ultimate revenge. Obelisk the Tormentor, one of the three mighty Egyptian god cards, takes center stage in this very, in his very own structure deck. This deck includes the new attack spell card, Fist of Fate, to wipe out your opponent's cards, plus other new cards and clever tricks to summon monsters straight from your hand or deck. And you'll quick, quickly get three monsters you'll need to summon Obelisk for yourself. Look at that, you guys. Five cards there. Look at those. Those are the foils. This structure deck includes 32 common cards, 4 super red cards, 4 ultra red cards, and 1 double sided deluxe game map with tips to execute your own perfect strategy. Beautiful! Beautiful! Obelisk the Tormentor in the house! First edition, you guys! First to freaking edition! What else is in the box, though? Get that little thing there. Get that little thing here. Alright, we got a game map. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Also on Whatnot today, guys, if this video gets up on the same day, we will be doing a God Structure Deck streams talking about the decks. Getting rid of some of the decks on stream today. It'll be awesome. Check us out. Link at the top of the description below. This is a pretty sick game mat. Pretty sick game mat. It's kind of like two and one thing going here. Konami maybe will make a, a real one later on for us. And then look at this on the back. It gives you like the tips, the tips and tricks going on here for your, getting your triple summons out. But also comes in both decks. Ooh, I wonder what that card is. Look at that, you guys. Awesome. All right, here we go. Scan here to learn the basics. This is Obelisk the Tormentor, you guys. One of the most sought after Yu-Gi-Oh! products of all freaking time. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be a crazy. This is Obelisk the Tormentor. Requires three tribute summons to normal. This card cannot be negated. When normal, effects cannot be activated. Neither player can target this card. Once during your end phase, this card is special summon, set to the grave. Tribute two monsters, destroy all monsters, opponent controls. And this card cannot declare attack. Beautiful! Obelisk, Fist of Fate! You guys, I'm so excited. Speaking of excitement, Duel coming out, you guys. I don't know if I'll be able to get Simply Alex for the Duel, but I'll definitely get a Duel between these two structured decks, you guys. Be ready. The War of the Gods returns. It's actually one of our most popular Yu-Gi-Oh! videos on YouTube, guys. Slifer versus Obelisk. 
Soul Crossing, this is it. This is the card. Are you guys ready? During the main phase, immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon one divine beast monster. Freaking quick play. When you do, tribute a monster your opponent controls. Tribute monsters your opponent controls, even though you do not control them, but tribute them with this effect. Until the end of the next turn after this card effects, you can only activate one more, one card effect or effect per turn, not counting the effects of Divine Beast. Soul Crossing. What is that beautiful, monstrous card? And there it is. Konami's Fist of Fate. Yo, they made it a card. They made it a freaking card. That is crazy. The activation can't be negated. If you control Obelisk, negate the effects of effect monsters opponent controls. And then if you do destroy it, that's cool. After this effect's negated as well, activate effects on the field of monsters with the same original name. Can't be activated. Destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. <laughs> just, by the way, guys, if you activate this during your main phase, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Fist of Fate negates, destroys. It negates forever. It, like, literally erases that monster. That's crazy, guys. And it Harpy Feather Dust. Just, that's crazy. Speaking of Harpy Feather Duster... Super rare in the deck. Yo, value, value, value. Harpy's Feather Duster in the house. Destroy all spell and traps. Your opponent controls Konami. You have outdone yourself. Beautiful. All right, next we got Divine Evolution. This basically evolves one of your Divine Beast or Wicked Dread Root Eraser monsters. Gives it a thousand attack. And then when it declares attack, your opponent sends a monster they control their choice so it doesn't target that kind of concept i think very beautiful you guys divine evolution dude konami bringing back the classic looking art dude this is like some mrl psv stuff going on here speaking of mrl magic roller first edition box opening saturday june 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 19th i was almost said july june 19th 4 p.m pst guys be there or be there at the next one Vintage box openings, first edition, guys, on one, not link at the top of the description below. Let's go! Yeah, it's like got a painful choice vibes to this. Uh, but yeah, level wall, I believe you monster dies, you can go special summon combined levels, two separate monsters with combined levels. All right, Angel One, here we go, here we go. Angel One, this guy's weird, this guy's crazy. Looks like a Dragon Ball kind of monster. You can special summon this card from your hand by revealing one level seven or higher monster from your hand. Already good already good you can only special summon once per turn while you control this special summon card tribute summon a level seven or higher monster in attack position during your main phase in addition you can oh into it in addition wow to a normal summer set so you get to summon more monsters guys this seems like it'd be really good for monarchs or some sort of deck that has level sevens that need extra tributes this seems really good i like this one mare mare one of the best token creating cards in the game I believe it was the best until something got uh, limited or banned. Forget the name of that card. I want to say Destrudo, Dude Doritos, somewhere around there. Cannot be special summon except by the effect of Worm, because that one was a Worm monster. During your main phase, you can reduce this card's level by one. If you do special summon mini mini mare, <laughs> mini mare tokens, <laughs> mini mare mares. It should have been mini mini mare mare. Just saying, Konami. Just saying. Beautiful tokens to use for your gods. Love it. This is good. Super rare, by the way. And then the super rare Feather Duster. And it was funny, when Konami showed their list off, I don't think people thought there'd be three Nimble Momongas. But it's nice to see three Nimble Momongas in the house. Let's go, baby. So, dude, when's the last time? We're like, this is like, this is toolbox format, guys. This is like toolbox. This isn't even, this is before the goat format. The zoo, that's a little bit, little bit toolbox, a little bit goat. Cyber Dragon, here we go, guys. We gotta get some Cyber Dragon reprints. Harden Arm Dragon. With your hard armor. Nice. Uh, super nimble mega hamster. Evil Mandagora. So all these cards are literally just special summon from your hand or special summon additional monsters. That's literally what we're doing right now. They basically Konami's like, here's all the cards we can think of that could flow with your god cards here. When you flip the summon this guy, get another saber tiger. So more special summoning. Dude, Salamandra. Oh boy. Banish one monster from grave against 300. Raw's Disciple, and people thought they'd only put one of those in here too. But there's three. Three Raw's Disciple common in the Obelisk deck, guys. That's incredible. Not the Masked Dragon, the Unmasked Dragon. Why? Because here's why. When it's destroyed by battle, sent to the Grave Special, summon a Worm Monster. Well, guess what? Who's the beautiful Worm Monster? Is it 1,500 defense or 1,500 attack? 1,500 less defense. Mare Mare, 1,400. There you go. 
Nimble Beaver for your Nimble Momonga Super Nimble Manga Hamsters. Love it. Condemned Witch. Why is the Condemned Witch in here, guys? We'll find out. Gizmec. I don't know about the Gizmecs, but I know they're pretty freaking sweet. All right. A couple Gizmecs working well together. I wonder if the 2250s, because they say something about 50s come in handy here. Interesting. All right. Spells, guys. B -b 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 Brain Control. Monster Reborn. Different Dimension Capsule. Fire. Nostalgic Cards. Pot of Avarice, because they didn't want to do Pot of Greed. Konami, you should have. You should have just done Pot of Greed. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's okay. It's okay. Just put it in. Put the Pot of Greed in. But what does it do? Let us know, you guys, in the comments below. And speaking of letting us know in the comments below, giveaway today, guys. Giveaway. Give this video a thumbs up. Post in the comments below. Which is your favorite god deck? Obelisk or Egyptian god Slifer? Which is mine? I think you guys already know. Come on, Kaiba! It's Obelisk the Tormentor, baby. Double Summon. Gorgeous. Nice, good card. And of course, to go with our Condemned Witch, Forbidden Chalice, because that's what she's got. She's got it in her picture, right? Something like that. They flow. <laughs> forbidden Chalice. Forbidden Lance. And Forbidden Dress. The Realm of the Gods. Last time we saw all three of these in the same deck, I believe it was Loki's uh, LEHD, hero, hero decks or whatever. It was Loki and the, uh, the other gods there. I'm not gonna, raw. <laughs> too, too many different gods in my head right now. Thor, there we go. Loki, Thor, and Odin. Nice, nice, remembering those. So very cool there. Supply Squad, because Konami likes to put this card in every structure deck from now until infinity. Monarch Stormforth. This is that's basically what the uh, Soul Crossing is, but the Soul Crossing is for the God cards. Pretty epic there. Um, yes, Call the Haunted's Trap. Nice cloning in here for more tokens. Drowning Mirror Force. That's a good one. That's a good one. And of course, guys, go play some Duel Links. It's time to duel with Link Evolution and King's Court. Shout out to King's Court in the description below, guys. King's Court is coming. And Konami has specifically said the King's Court is going to be supporting the Egyptian God decks, you guys. So King's Court in the description below, simpleandlucky.com. We got King's Court ready for you guys, and it is hot. It's hot. Guys, if Konami puts a God card in that set, you're looking at a collector's rare slash ultimate rare God card. That would be absolutely insanity. Absolute insanity. Okay, guys, that's it for the Slifer, the Obelisk deck. Let's move on. Let's move on. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Set that right there. Shout out to Magic Ruler, June 19, 4 p.m. Here we go. First edition box break. It's time. Look at this box. Egyptian God Deck, Slifer, the Sky Freaking Dragon, guys. Unfreaking believable. Look at this guy. Yu Gi Oh! All right, here we go. On the back, it says Slifer the Sky Dragon. Reveal yourself, my all-powerful beast. Slifer the Sky Dragon, whose power grows with each card in your hand, finally has his own, his very own structure deck. This deck includes the new spell card, Thunder Force Attack, to destroy your opponent's monsters and draw a card for each monster destroyed. Plus, other new cards to help seek out, summon, and protect Slifer with strategies to use your own opponent's monsters. Beautiful, guys. This structure deck includes 32 common cards, four super rare cards, four ultra rare cards, one double-sided flux game mat, and a guide to perfect your strategy. Here we go, guys. Slifer, the sky, freaking dragon. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Unfreaking believable, guys. Slifer, the sky, dragon. To remind you guys, this guy requires three tributes. The normal sum can be negated. When normal sum, cards in effect can be activated. Once per turn during the end phase, special sum send to the grave. Gains a thousand attack and defense for each card in your hand. If a monster is normal or special sum to your opponent's field and attack position, that monster loses 2,000 permanently. And if its attack has been reduced to zero, destroy it. Absolute insanity. Insanity. But it can be targeted, unlike Obelisk. All right. There's Sly for you guys. Soul Crossing again. Soul Crossing again. Remember guys, check out Whatnot. Link at the top of the description below for that first edition Magic Ruler box opening as well as Slifer Obelisk deck opening slash uh, get them on Whatnot. All right, you guys, Thunder Force Attack, here we go. The effect, this card's activation cannot be negated. 
If you control Slifer, destroy as many faces of monsters your opponent controls as possible. Then if you activate this during your main phase, draw cards equal to the number of monsters you destroy by this effect. Wow. You can only attack with one monster with this effect. That's crazy, dude. I like this one, guys. That's pretty insane. Millennium Seeker. It's the man with the Millennium Key. Shakti. Yeah? I think I might have got that right. I don't know about this card, but it's cool. Millennium Seeker, guys. You don't see art like this in Yu-Gi-Oh! very often. I like it. I like it. Bring it back, Konami. Bring it back. Ultimate Divine Beast. There you go. Discard spawn trap cards. Target Divine Beast monster in grave. Special summon a defense. Nice. Then change the attack card to this. Stroll face up cards your opponent controls if you control Divine Beast. Absolute insanity, you guys. Then we got Tell Us the Little Angel. Another little Dragon Ball Angel looking thing over here. If this card is sent to the monster zone to the grave, you can special summon one Telus token. While you control Telus token, you can banish this card from the grave and a spell from your hand, special summon two Telus tokens. Straight up God card. Whoa. Straight up God card. Now, Reactor Slime. Now, everyone sees this Reactor Slime in here and you're like, cool, Reactor Slime is a super rare. Konami, I'm just going to say it. I know everyone's probably thinking it. Where is our Egyptian God Slime? Where's our God Slime? This would have been the perfect print for God Slime. This is the Slifer deck. Remember, you Yugi used all those, or fought the dude. I'm not going to remember his name right now. I know, I know he looked like a mine. But he fought the dude with all those Slime cards. So if there's going to ever be any Slime cards, I feel like it should have been right here, right now. And so Konami put in the Reactor Slime. That's a good card, super rare. That's nice. But Egyptian God Slime would have been insane, especially because the other deck is the Obelisk deck. And this is the Slifer deck. I don't know. I just... There's like a story there. There's the old episodes. There's some nostalgic vibes. I don't know, Konami. I don't know. I don't know. Harpy's Feather Duster again, you guys. Harpy's Feather Duster is in both, both decks. That's pure insanity. Shout out to the duel, you guys, between the two decks. We have a War of the Gods incoming in the next few days, you guys. Be ready. It's going to be freaking insanity. All right. Breaker the Magical Warrior is in here. Getting some Yugi slash Slifer cards. Beast King Barbaros, Nine-Tailed Fox, interesting. Phantom Sky Blaster reprint, that guy's got some tokens for you. Card Guard, all right. The Crow Claw, the Claw Crow. This guy was actually like a few dollars as a common, so that's a nice reprint. Electromagnetic Turtle, that's pretty cool. Breaker the Dark Magical Warrior, we got two forms of Breaker here, and I think this is a card that was printed in the structure deck. Is this two printings and two separate structure decks? That's interesting. Skate goes coast to coast with those uh, dark sheep tokens. And then we got Rima the Wicked Warden. This is for some dark shenanigans going down with this deck. Layer of Darkness. And I believe there's three of these in here. And then you have Duke Shade. I don't know where this guy's from, but it's a cool card that can be special summoned using darks. And you got Clock Wyvern. Interesting Reigns card coming out of nowhere. Uh, Tenyi. This guy's insane. You guys are seeing this guy in multiple decks all over the place. And special summon this guy from your hand if you don't control effect monsters. It's basically his own version of a cyber dragon. And he's dark. And he's got 2,500. And he's seven stars. There's a lot of stuff going on with this guy that's actually really good that people have realized over time. Swords Revealing Light. Monster Reborn. Book of Moon. Enemy Controller. What? Hold on. What? What? In the Obelisk deck, there's no Enemy Controller. Konami, what happened? What happened there, Konami? What have you done, Konami? Feel like A, B, left, right, A, B goes in the Obelisk deck. I don't know. Is it me or is it just used with Obelisk cards? Could just be me. Kaiba, Pot of Avarice. Just saying, Konami, could have been a Pot of Greed. We all would have been okay with it. We all would have been okay with it, guys. All right, Pot of Avarice. March of the Monarchs in this one. That's pretty interesting. Tribute monsters can't be destroyed with card effects. Neither player can target them. Supply Squad. I guess Konami, this is Konami's way of saying Slifer is now untargetable. <laughs> uh, Supply Squad again. Card Advance. This is actually a really good card that um, is very good in speed duels. One of the more valuable speed duel spell cards for a while there. The True Name. Ultra Rare coming from LED7. Very cool, guys. Declare card name. Excavate the top. That's pretty cool. Add it to your hand or special summon a divine from your deck. Otherwise, the true name. One time passcode, 2000 attack scapegoast, coast to coast. 
Layer of Darkness. Nice to see a reprint for this, you guys. That's a big, big card right there. Very powerful. Lots of shenanigans. Summons tokens. It's a good card. Draw of Fate. What is this? Dupo? Do of? One of those sets. Draw of Fate. It's got Exodia on it. Reminds me of our three Exodia video. If you guys remember that. Raid boss battles. Fun times. Mirror Force, guys. Straight up Mirror Force for Yugi. See, there's a Yugi themed card. I'm just saying. Reckless Greed. Metal Reflex Slime, but not the God Slime. Something's up here. Golden Apples. I kind of expected that one to be in here. And back to the front. I always like that card. Marauding Captain <laughs> in the eyes. Very cool, guys. Dual Links available now. Shout out to King's Court at the top of the description below, you guys. There will be a link to SimpleMonkey.com. Get your King's Court. It is directly supporting the God decks, you guys. King's, King's Court is a new set coming out. It's got collector's rares. And maybe, just maybe, there'll be a God card inside collector's rare. That would be insane. All right, you guys. That is the God decks. Absolute perfection from Konami making godly products like this. Could they have been more meta relevant? Yes. Could they have had more crazy cards inside? Probably. But man, I am just happy to get an epic godly product. Man, we got a Harpy's Feather Duster super rare in there to go with our super rare Regeki from wherever that was from. So you guys, awesome. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for supporting Simply Unlucky. Stay tuned for the wool of the gods between Slifer and Obelisk. We got a duel coming up for you guys. It's going to be insane. It is definitely going to be godly. And also, you guys, check out Whatnot. Link at the top of the description below. We will have some Egyptian god deck giveaways slash uh, auctions on there, you guys. That should be fun. Also, Magic Ruler First Edition, Saturday, June 19th. Be there. And if you're watching this video at a later point in time, just know that we are doing live first edition box breaks over on whatnot and it is just complete insanity i don't think i've opened up these classic vi vintage products since 10 15 20 years ago it's been insane guys all right you guys as always thank you so much for watching this video remember to subscribe for more epic godly Yu-Gi-Oh videos and simply unlucky signing out <laughs>